Hello everyone, I'm the Enforcer, and welcome back to the day 473 Short War Summary. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and support us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Moving on to our next clip, we can see that the 3rd Brigade is continuing the assaults in the Bakhmut area, as their YPR-765s continue to drop them off in the tree lines near Klishkivka as they continue their assault against the Russian 72nd Brigade. We now hear them getting the command to move forward towards the tree line. We can now see the squad advancing out of the YPR 765s and to the tree line. You see them continue to lay down heavy fire. There is very little return fire coming from Russian forces, suggesting that they may be pinned down by the overwhelming Ukrainian fire. It has been reported that the 3rd Brigade and other units that are still fighting within the southern flank of Bakhmut are being met with relative success, being able to push through several tree lines a day, if not one at least at the minimum. And it appears that we're seeing once again another successful assault by the 3rd Brigade. And our first clip here we can see a Russian tour system blowing itself up. One of the first times we've seen this from a tour system. That didn't end well. In this next clip, we can see that the 68th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces was able to hit a Russian motor pool. It was supposed that around 68 Russian vehicles of varying kinds were within this motor pool, and out of all 68 vehicles, the damage ranged from lightly damaged vehicles to completely destroyed vehicles. Some of the destroyed vehicles you can see turning into fireballs right there on screen. As the counteroffensive has continued, it appears that Russian losses are beginning to compound, especially now that a lot of their motor pools and supply depots are beginning to come in range of Ukrainian artillery. Thank you all once again for watching. Make sure to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.